at the 2013 Lou Richards medal on 92 oh. votes. It's Gary Ablett from the Gold Coast Footy Club and he joined us tonight. The little champ. Just as he's done the rounds, let me tell you, seven times he's been an All-Australian centre in the road. Five times the most valuable player is voted on by his peers. Five best and fairest, the dual premiership player, the Brownlow medalist in 2009. And uh, this year's Lou Richards medal winner. Welcome, Gazza. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's been another <laughs> unbelievable season for your good self. It, uh, how many awards have you won off the top of your head, you know? I couldn't tell you, Gary. Yeah. Um, Oh. A well, few. I'll tell you what, Gaz. Uh, as Gary Lyon just said, you'll win plenty because you're a superstar, but very few will be as important as this one because, A, uh, the Sunday footy show is an unbelievably powerful uh, vehicle, but secondly, the man this medal's named after is an absolute superstar of the game, and here is the great Lou Richards with a me uh, message for you, Gaz. Well, congratulations to uh, Gary Ablett Jr. winning the Lou Richards medal for the third time. That's a tremendous effort. I couldn't even win it one myself. <laughs> it's my medal, but it is a tremendous effort to win it. Any medal like that three times, but to win a medal, but to win it, to win it three times is a tremendous effort. And of course, he's a very good player. We all know that. He doesn't need me to tell, tell you how good a player he is. Presentation well, hand over the middle and let's goes get the medal for oh. a start. So there's the uh, silverware, which you can add to the two you already have. And Thanks, uh, also, not that you maybe need this as much, but oh. there's a. Uh, <laughs> 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 that is uh, Gazza Gazza from Carry Boy. So uh, Carry Boy are in the uh, in the audience here tonight. Now Carry Boy have been on the Sunday Footy Show. They sponsor us all year, and they are the global leaders in Ute canopies and accessories. So all the Ute canopies and, and all that, Ute canopies and, and accessories. Accessories. Yes. <laughs> so that is Carry Boy, and they're in the audience. So well done, well Carry Boy. Well done, Carry Boy. Gazza, uh, you've been asked every question in footy. I I've asked the most obvious of all, where have you rated the year? And let's get this one out of the road. You've won a brown line, yep. all those great accolades that I've read out. Um, yep. At the start, certainly at the halfway mark of the year, it was career best, and that's saying something. Yeah, look, I think it's always hard to compare years. Um, you know, there's no doubt we've uh, had a better season as a team. You know, we've won eight games. Um, you know, we took a huge step forward this year. And um, I think it's always easy to play well as an individual when you, your teammates are playing well. So, um, you know, I have, to, I have to thank my teammates for this because without those boys, uh, you know, I wouldn't be up here accepting, so what, accepting this What award. was the rate of improvement for them? We know in games one, you, yep. you know, we had three in the first year, eight this year. I mean, how, how did you see it? I mean, and where can they get to? Yeah, look, I just think it's the experience, you know, they, the more training sessions and more games they play, the better they're going to get, you know. Um, we've got a very talented list, um, you know, I know that, but, um, you know, I've told these boys that tal talent doesn't win your premierships, it takes hard work, and, and they're just starting to understand now what it takes, um, you know, to play consistent football at this level, and, um, you know, we're just going to make sure that we just keep moving forward as a club. Well, Gaz, the first thing you've done is turn Metricon into a fortress. I know uh, Lukey Ball and uh, Big Wilbur over there, no one wants to go there at the moment and take on the Gold Coast Suns. You play the ground beautifully, the conditions mm -hmm. are uh, unique and yep. uh, you're starting to become really hard to beat at home. Yeah, we've talked about that. You know, we want, um, you know, we want uh, Metricon to be a place where, you know, teams don't want to travel. Um, you know, we're at, uh, you know, it is tough for them and, and our support has been fantastic this year. You know, we've uh, we signed up close to 15,000 members. Mm. Um, you know, they get along there every week and, um, you know, I'm hoping, um, you know, as the years roll on and, and we get more, uh, AFL gets more exposure up there that people uh, people jump on board and because uh, there's no doubt, you know, we're going to be able to do special things in the future. Now, over the journey, uh, Gary, we show plenty of tweets that players uh, tweet out to the uh, public. This is one that uh, um, you've tweeted. It's about, uh, to the players, about religion and um, uh, scriptures and following a path of righteousness, if you like, I presume. Uh, I don't feel embarrassed asking this because I'm a believer myself. I'm just wondering, um, when, did you, uh, when did you decide that that was a path you'd go down and uh, what... What important <laughs> role does that play in your preparation to play uh, this game and, yeah. and with the rest of your teammates? It's very important to me. It's everything to me, um, my faith. And, um, you know, with, uh, without God, I, I um, you know, couldn't do the things I do. Yeah. Um, you know, he, he gives me that opportunity and, um, 
yeah, it's, uh, it's something we do before every game. We get in there, the boys come in, we, uh, we have a bit of a pre-session and, uh, and we get out there and enjoy our footy. Well, I'm glad you said, because I didn't know if it was apocryphal or not, but it was said that you, had, you, you uh, got together with the players and read scriptures or you... Uh, yeah. uh, is there any particular, any particular um, <laughs> uh, uh, verse, uh, book of a verse that you follow or is it just a general yeah, the bonding... Bible. Just the a, Bible. Just a, just the, the yeah, no, but yeah. <laughs> any particular chapter in it? Uh, there's all... uh, oh, it changes from week to week. Um, you know, we have a life group during the week. Um, you know, where we all get together, and um, you know, it's a place where the boys can come along, and we just uh, we talk about issues in in our life that yeah. we're struggling with, and um, yeah, it's, that's basically well, what it is. It's... We pick up the Bible, we read the Bible, we pray. And... I think it's a fantastic thing, and I, I know your father. Um, uh, found um, uh, some comfort in, in that part of it? Does he ever join you or does he give you be part of it or well, do you ever chat to him about it? Or? Um, I mean, we chat about it every now and yeah. then. Um, you know, but uh, my dad actually did spend a month up in Queensland towards the end of the year, so he come, up, he come along to a couple of the, yeah. the life group sessions. It was good to have him up there, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah, know that, where you're trying to go. With it, no, 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 no. <laughs> but because we, you're here, people. Yeah. Um, it's good to have someone say, "Is this right or not?" And uh, I think it's a fantastic thing mm. that you no, use no, that uh, for for whatever reason you mm. do, mate. And I'm, I'm genuine in that. Thanks. Uh, no, Why don't you come along, Sammy? Commend Sammy for. Being <laughs> that. I, I, I'm a believer myself, mate. I don't quite go yeah. as far as that. I suppose that's the easy way out to say that, you mm -hmm. know. But uh, I'm a believer. I'm, so I'm not. This is I'm, this is not a loaded question. I'm not. Uh, no, no, no. Right. We you appreciate I'm just that. asking you. And just one more. Well, when you say uh, the, the group, it's not the whole team, is it just a, a, a number of players? No, well, anyone's welcome to come along. It's just a lot. Uh, pre-game, I mean. Yeah, pre-game. We've got the chaplain at the club. Oh, yeah, anyone's welcome to come along. Right. Yeah, we've got the chaplain that comes in with us. Um, you know, we spend some time with the boys and um, it's open to anyone that wants to come in. Oh, no, that's great. And we'll commend you for speaking openly and honestly about it. And, and please don't take us any other way than it was a genuine question from yeah. Sammy there. Um, what about the finals now? You sit back, you've yeah. been involved, your, your former team playing of course tomorrow night. You're going to go along, eh? And uh, what do you feel like when you sit in the stand and you're watching this great team yeah. continue to do great things? I am going to head along tomorrow night and watch the game. Um, I do find it hard to watch. You know, I've, I've always been a very competitive person and, um, you know, we obviously play football to play finals and, and, and play in premierships. So um, it will be hard to watch. Um, I'm really hoping that the, the Geelong boys can get up tomorrow night, but um, I think it's going to be very tough against the <laughs> After serious questions like that, uh, I've got one for you. Raw broccoli. I've heard that uh, you don't mind eating raw produce. Uh, Sam talks about a believer in faith. I'm a believer in raw produce. Uh, can you shed some light on your, on your diet to some extent? That is true. Um, I follow the paleo diet, which yep. is um, what our ancestors you know, used to eat. Um, it's not, you know, a lot of the processed foods we eat these days. So that is true. I, uh, I do, do cop a bit of stick from the boys when I'm sitting on the plane um, when we're, we're travelling on an interstate trip and I've got the raw broccoli and I'm, et and I'm eating that. But um, I've been following that diet for a while. A few of the other boys are on it as well. And, What's um, it called, Gazza? Because there's about 300,000 yeah. food <laughs> players out there yeah. just about the long yeah. tinder. It's, it's called the paleo diet. Right, yeah. Uh, paleo paleo diet. Diet. Yeah. So, do you Check believe in frothies? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not part of the paleo diet. <laughs> <laughs> You, do you have a drink? Do you still have a drink in that I case? I do, mate. I have a yeah. red wine every now and then, yes. Yeah, yeah. If it's raw, if it's organic, it doesn't matter if it's got alcohol. Right? It's totally all right. <laughs> you oh, can fit exactly anything right. into a paleo oh, diet. Right. Is that yeah. part of the fluid mechanics? Uh, <laughs> yeah. part of it, yeah. Well, it, no, it's, uh, it's pleasing to hear because now I can uh, get some of my teammates to say, well, don't worry, don't do it because I do it, do it because Gary Evelyn Jr. does it. <laughs> so uh, that's got much more. Uh, much cool. more merit to it. Go. Guys, we all love watching uh, Jago Mara this year. You know, he's had a lot mm. of accolades. Uh, give us a quick word on Jack Martin. The, uh, yep. the word coming out is that he had a better year than Jago in the, yeah. the lower level league this year without sort of yeah. trying to put too much of a moz on him. Just give us a, uh, yeah, a bit of a super player, teaser. Mate. There was, um, you know, a lot of talk from our coaches before we, uh, we actually... We actually draft, uh, picked him up, um, you know, that uh, they were saying that he's the be cool. best kid they've seen come through the system. Um, you know, I got to watch him uh, play in the reserves a bit last year and, um, you know, he's, there's no doubt he's going to be a super player for us, you know, come next year and um, I can't wait to, to have him out play there playing. Yeah, just playing before, Sammy, yep. that's a scary proposition. Uh, Jay mm. Gomier was described by uh, Tim Watson as possibly the best uh, midfielder to come along and maybe of all time. So you, yeah. you rate him at a, at a par or even above? No, I do. I do without a doubt. And... <laughs> The thing about Jager is, you know, he's got a really good head on his shoulders. He um, he works hard. He listens, and um, 
you know, he's obviously got that, that natural ability as well. So, you know, he will come out, um, you know, it will take time because he's a young kid, but, you know, I think over the next couple of years he'll learn a lot and, and no doubt he'll, uh, he'll have, a, have a great future ahead of him. Now, I know this is an obvious question, Gary, uh, but you were voted by your peers as the number one player in the comp. Uh, you've won the Brownlow medal. Do you feel, and I've got a reason for asking this because I went to sports bet, uh, Gary, and I've backed this man to win the Brownlow, so Very I good. want to know, do you think you've got a better chance this year than any other year or as good or you must have some measure on And don't say I know there's a lot of good players and they've all played great <laughs> games. Do you think the year that you won the Brown, do you think that this has been equally as good, if not better? I feel like I've had a consistent year, so... Whatever happens, happens. I, I can't. I know, I know that. No, I'm not. I can't control him. the rest, Sammy. So um, I'm going to go along, enjoy the night. If I walk away with it, bonus. If I don't, then you're bonus uh, for I'll me if you do. <laughs> <laughs> I, um... <laughs> Guys, are you going to uh, wander down to Soho Workshop? What's it, what are we going to see? Yeah, that's important too. I've just realised I'm wearing the same shirt as you, guys. Well, that's, no. that's a good taste. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you'll look after you. And then, uh, your, your new girlfriend, Jordan, she's going along with you? Yes, Jordan's going to be coming along. Yep. That'll be your first brown line. She's a little bit nervous, but... Um... Holy mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> she's uh, excited at the same time. So. Uh, it's it's exciting, be a fun night. mate. It is exciting for you. It's exciting for the Gold Coast Footy Club. Um, oh, yes? No. Well, You're on fire. No, I'm just saying, what a unique and refreshing role model mm -hmm. in this society when things go a little awry. Yep. And uh, if the AFL pointed at anyone, Look no further than this man. Wow. Couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> Gary Abbott, thanks for coming on, mate. Congratulations on a fantastic year. Oh, yeah. he's a superstar. Looked like he borrowed Gibbo's glasses at the end there, too. The uh, clear lens ones. Are you smoking at the minute? Doing Gaz. a few lunches, too, guys. Yeah, I'm I know. Seeing around it's the just traps. around town. <laughs> he's uh, <laughs> getting right around. We love Is it. Is he? Are we going to get to a break? <laughs>